A group of faith leaders also speaking about the murder of that six-year-old Palestinian-American boy who prosecutors say he was targeted because of his Muslim faith. Jewel Hillary is joining us now live in the loop with that story. Jewel. Hi, Lourdes and Ben. This afternoon, there was a collective prayer and call for peace four days after six-year-old Wadia Alfayume was killed after being stabbed more than two dozen times. This afternoon, faith leaders representing several different religions united to condemn Wadia's murder and express their sympathy to the little boy's family. The group also denounced hate-filled speech and urged the media and government officials not to highlight content that discriminates and discredits people because of their race, ethnicity, or religion. On Saturday, six-year-old Wadia was home with his mom, Hanan Shaheen, in unincorporated Plainfield Township when the family's 71-year-old landlord, Joseph Chuba, alleged attacked the mom and son with a large knife. Authorities said Chuba was upset over the Israel-Hamas war and attacked them after the boy's mother proposed they pray for peace. The Muslim community continues to mourn the loss of Wadia, a young, brilliant, energetic, and loving child. He was a child who, after just recently celebrating his birthday, spent his final moments on this earth comforting his own mother as she saw him take his last breaths. I want to invite my fellow Americans to take a step back and ask ourselves, in what world, in what faith tradition, in what civil society could such a heinous crime be acceptable? This is the grossest example of disrespecting another human being because of their religious views, because of their faith because of their national origin. We had an opportunity to speak uh, before the Plainfield Township Council, and the message we shared with them, we will share across uh, greater Chicago, and that is for the community to wrap their arms around this family. They are suffering. They are, there's deep hurt. And usually when tragedies come about, the community responds with love and compassion. Leaders say that Wadia's mom remains in the hospital but is making progress. Reporting live in the loop tonight, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.